it's Taka. Now wait, is that Taka working a side gig as a model, or is this just the actor who also played Taka? What is sound? No matter. What is matter? Never mind. Ah, uh, it's morning in America. Don't talk to me before I've fired my gun. That sounds like a 4th of July celebration, but it isn't really. It's just Tom on his way to school. Tom is a real hoodlum. Uh, that's not how busking works. Wouldn't Tom be surprised if somehow we could turn off the sound when he strikes that can and that box? I never should have wished there was no sound design. Of course, we're just pretending. We can't really turn off the sound. Oh, man. We all know that if you strike an object, it usually makes a noise. So knock it off, Tom. I think I just invented dubstep. But do you know why? Do you know what causes sound? Why are some sounds different from others? Oh, no. Are you going to tell me all about it in this film? Now we know that sound is caused by vibration. We do? But in order to hear the sound, these vibrations must reach our ears. How does this happen? It's a timeless mystery and we'll never know for sure. For instance, how does the sound of the electric bell travel to our ears? Oh, violently. She's waiting for the dinner bell to do the bell thing. Dinner bell, dinner bell, ring. When the bell rings, it vibrates very rapidly and pushes against the air around it. This rapid pushing makes sound waves in the air, which travel away from the bell in all directions. Uh -huh. If the waves reach our ears, we can hear the sound. And that's how we know it's time to report to Sector 84 for re-education. Of course, you cannot really see sound waves, but they do travel something like this. Uh, are there any sounds that don't sound like the end times are upon us? Most of the sounds that reach our ears travel to them through the air. But other sounds take the train. Can sound travel through other materials too? Suppose we put this toy frog underwater. Will the sound travel through the water to our ears? Stop playing God! Listen closely. Huh, I don't hear anything. Fascinating. Let's try another experiment. Do you think that sound can travel through wood? No way, Hold dude. Hold one end of a stick of wood against your ear while someone else scratches the other end of the stick. You know, I have things I need to accomplish today. Can you hear the sound? These two kids just discovered ASMR. These experiments have shown that sounds can travel easily through water and through solid materials as well as through air. We'll have to take more drastic measures if we want to defeat sound. Are all sounds alike? So far in this movie, yes. I call it Stairway to Heaven. Here is one way in which sounds are different. We say that one sound had a higher pitch than the other sound. Did you know that as a noun, the word pitch has as many as eight distinct dictionary definitions? This rubber band makes a higher pitched sound because it vibrates faster than the other rubber band. The faster an object vibrates, the higher the pitch. Now here's our friend Slash to demonstrate. I call that the house remix of Stairway to Heaven. Do you know why these two rubber bands vibrate at different speeds? Well, yeah, I the think it's because of that one rubber band. Hey, I was going to guess. And the other one and therefore vibrates faster. Yeah, okay. The metal bars on this toy xylophone are different lengths. The long bars vibrate slowly and make low-pitched sounds. Oh, was the rib cage of a cartoon skeleton not available? While the short bars vibrate more rapidly and so make higher pitched sounds. Now do zombie wolf. The shorter the object, the faster it vibrates. I think I get it. What makes a cuckoo clock? Cuckoo. What makes a narrator? Cuckoo. Oh, look at the time. I really got a motor. Oh, wait, that's really it? Okay. 
Wow, really, really stuck that landing. Great job. All right, bye. Thank you so much for watching Fun With Shorts. This series is supported by Patreon and patrons like these wonderful people right here. They get early access to new episodes and exclusive episodes every month. Also, check out the updated funwithshorts.com for DVDs and merch and all the good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next time.